afternoon. So thank you all for coming. Today we're celebrating Caribbean Awareness Month. So my name is Miguel Murphy and we have Ms. Jessenia Patino and we are both co-chairs of the Caribbean American Heritage Month uh, celebration and including the Haitian Flag Day celebrations here at Miami College North Campus and also at the Caribbean Entrepreneurial Education Center. So this is actually our closing and culminated activity um, for the past two months. Uh, since May, uh, we've been celebrating. This is activity number six. Yes, it is. Of six. So give yourselves a round of applause. For actually coming. All of our events have actually been successful uh, from Haitian Flag Day at the mm -hmm. Therapy Meek Center to Haitian Flag Day at the North Campus to our kickoff event uh, at the Meek Center uh, with our Beyond Literacy uh, project and book giveaway, which was our mini book fair, and also our STEMization with Dr. Henry Ford, and um, our STEM, uh, student success panel discussion. So today we have a treat uh, for you. We're gonna have food, who likes food? Right, so a taste of the Caribbean, who likes music? Me too, right? And so let's give a round of applause to Kelly, who was actually being on an island, um, the twin island of Trinidad and Tobago. We have our uh, prof esteemed professor Victor, Victor Gomez who will, uh, who, will be, who will join us soon, I see he's coming already, but he will share with us essentially our um, uh, showcase in the gallery, not just yet Professor Gomez, and the students who have been actually working, uh, you know, hard to be part of uh, today's program as well. Uh, so later on you'll get a taste of that in the gallery. So any words uh, of encouragement as we wrap up the month for our group? Just want to say thank you so much for coming and celebrating this wonderful event that we're hosting today. And I look forward for you to enjoy the music, the food, and the actual exhibit that our very own MDC students did. So we're going to start off with our event now with our special speaker. Yes. So our special speaker uh, is from the, it's also Twin Island, right? Of St. Kitts, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. So my roots lie in, uh, anyone familiar with the Caribbean island of Dominica? Hi, Other than <laughs> right, the 365 uh, rivers. So I'm going to welcome to the podium Mr. Elvis uh, Kate. It was nice having you all. Thank you so much for being here me. Welcome back for our taste. So, to the podium, um, join me in giving a warm welcome to Mr. Elvis Keynes. He is the president of the St. Kitts and Nevis Association of Florida, and also the uh, chairman of the um, Senior Advisory Council for the City of Miami Park. So let's give him a round of applause as he gives some more to us. Association of Florida here in um, Florida um, for like the past six years or not. Um, just to introduce you to St. Vincent and Nevis because as you know, normally when you hear about Caribbean month, Caribbean celebration, Caribbean carnival, you normally hear about the bigger islands, um, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, Dominica, Bahamas, but um, in the Leeward Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis is beautiful and nestled in the Leeward Islands. Um, it sits between like St. Bart, St. Martin, St. Croix, Monstrat, and Tiva. It's like 20 minutes flight from the closest uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, which is St. Croix. Um, St. Kitts and Nevis was um, colonialized by the British until 1983 when we became an independent country, so we are a free nation now for colonization. We do our own thing, and as Miguel said, 
It's a Twin Island Federation, that is, it shares the same government. St. Kitts, which is the bigger island, is 68 square miles, and Nevis is 28 square miles. So they're both two very small islands. Um, Nevis has what you call a local government, but have representatives on the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Now, our culture is formally based in um, Carnival. Our Carnival is normally celebrated on um, December 24th is the opening until January 2nd. It's the biggest Caribbean Christmas festival in the Caribbean. Um, we also have a music festival, which is actually this weekend, and unfortunately I'm gonna miss it. We have a featured guest artist for um, Friday and Saturday night. It's Butch Banton from Jamaica, which is already a sold out crowd in the island. Um, we focus in our carnival and um, street parade, what we call Juve. Um, those of you who are from the Caribbean is familiar with it, with the early morning rising up and you hit the streets in your pajama or your nightgown or your sexy shorts and you just jump behind any man or any crowd. Uh, you can create your own um, pajama or nightgown or sexy shot too because there's a judging competition also. The main music is Calypso and Soka, and then for the competition on the street parade, we have the masquerade, we have the bulls competition, and we also have what you call a battle of the schools, which is high school, middle school, junior high, and elementary. Each school sends a troop to that um, event, and is judged in three categories: the elementary school for the best troop, um, the junior high school for the best troop, and the the senior high school, so the kids also have their uh, focusing on the carnival. We, our government normally holds office for five years, and then after five years, there's a general election, which is uh, always keenly contested. We have two main parties, which is the Labour Party and the uh, People's Action Movement. Now, um, St. Kitts and Nevis' main industries were in the past sugar cane, where we produce um, brown sugar. And now, um, as the brown sugar um, deteriorates and it's not like the biggest resource economically, this, the islands now embark and um, what we call customer service, hospitality. We have um, some, some of the best island um, hotels in the Caribbean. Our main hotel is um, a Jacta Resort called Royal Sinkets and Casino, and then the Marriott Resort, which um, now is giving it a lot of competition, which is a new hotel, and they both all sit between the Caribbean and the Atlantic Ocean, which we are proud to have. One side is the Caribbean Sea, one side is the Atlantic Ocean, so if you love water sports, you have it all there, scuba diving, snorkeling, and anything you want to do when you go there. We have some of the best clean, beautiful beaches. We have um, also some of the most historical sites. We restored the Indians um, that were there before Christopher Columbus arrived in 1493. We had the Carib and Arawak Indians who were the natives of that island. So as you do any historic tour, tours around the islands, you will be able to um, see in visualization um, the shapes and uh, all the history about the Caribbean the Iraq Indians before the British came and took over. Um, we also have what you call Grimstone Hill, which is our main fortress there in the islands. That's a must see when you go there. That's the high, one of the highest hills in St. Kitts where all the battles were fought from between the French, the British, and the Dutch who wanted to inhabit and take over and rule the country. We still maintain all of the barracks from the officers, um, the weapons that were used, and the forts and the prisons up and right on that hill. Then we have one of the most beautiful, um, secluded, romantic, private getaway any island can have. It's called Kitishan Hill. It's all the way in the mountains. Yes, you're going to have a long drive. And in that setting, it's a hotel, but you're not in rooms with anyone. You have different um, homes that are built in a big span. You have your private house, 
You can do a two room, you can do a single room. It's the most romantic getaway, like for honeymoons or privacy. Um, they also develop there all natural foods that grow in sinkets. Via that you can walk out your cottage and pick. We have the mangoes, the oranges, the ripe bananas, the green peanuts and everything are also there. And your private chef um, take the vegetables and the beans from there also. Um, it has the most beautiful waterfall. Um, also in St. Kitts and Nevis, I would like to um, invite you to make it your next tourist destination, in particular during the summer when we have all of our activities um, going on in the islands, which is track and field, soccer competition, basketball competition. As you see, I'm wearing this because soccer is my um, main sport that I love, I grew up playing soccer. And cricket, if those of you who are not familiar with cricket, we, are play, we play cricket there every day. We have members of part of the, same, it's, uh, of the, British, the West Indies cricket team that are now competing in the World Cup. Um, this is our national um, soccer team jersey. The, it depicts the colors of our flag. The red in our flag stands for the blood that was shed by the Indians um, that inhabit, inhabit the country before the British. The green is for our fertile soil where we use the British sugar cane and all of our natural products. The yellow is for beautiful sunshine. Um, the white is for hope and the black is for our heritage. So those, that's the, how we came up with the flag. Um, any questions about St. Kitts Nevis? Um, that's my five minutes. So you can feel free to come and um, ask me as you mingle around. And before I leave, I would have liked to do it. Our national dish is saltfish, bile dumplings, sweet potato, and green bananas which we don't have here, unfortunately. But next year, I'm going to make sure that you're happy for the, the next year. Okay, thank you. So let's give Mr. Keynes another round of applause, please. So actually, uh, I had the privilege of visiting uh, St. Kitts, not Nevis, actually, uh, on a cruise, rolled by Nevis, but actually visited St. Kitts. So all of what Mr. Keynes mentioned is true, uh, and not to take away from your presentation, but you're also welcome to visit Dominica. <laughs> Anytime, uh, just let me know, and we'll make sure that you have the hospitality as well. But St. Kitts is a very, very beautiful uh, island, and through the Caracom Initiative, um, a lot of Dominicans do uh, move over to St. Kitts for uh, economic opportunities, so we thank you uh, for that. So moving along, uh, we have our esteemed professor, Mr. Victor Gomez. I'm going to uh, ask him to share a little bit of what you will observe in the gallery today. So let's give him a round of applause. Good afternoon. Thank you everyone for coming. In visual language, which is the, the, you know, the goal, right? I pose a question to my, my art appreciation classes. How does your culture come together? So instead of you know, writing or uh, creating a, an essay, it's visual. So they showed me and captured it. And a lot of things can't be described about your culture, about how you grew up, about how you come together. So I want to invite you to come and check out the gallery. There's uh, 16 prints that were put up, but there's a beautiful presentation of everybody that entered. And uh, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the, the art show. Our MDC student will be showcasing a wonderful song.
All right, wasn't that amazing? So I'd like to welcome another MDC student, Ms. Currently Charles, and she's actually representing the Haitian Evo Club. Hello everyone. I'm pretty sure almost all of you know that song, so I'd like for everybody to sing with me. Thank you. Don't you worry about 
Apparently, actually did two songs at our occasion of Black Day, so I'm very thankful that you were able to join uh, with us and close out Caribbean Awareness Month. So our next performer, um, dedicated, uh, always supported, supportive of what we're doing on campus, Mr. Gems. Join me in giving him a round of applause.
last two months. And have it not been um, because of the connections that our committee members have, and even our students, uh, we would not have been able to pull this off. So we're thankful that the two month period is over. We're looking forward to 2020. Committee <laughs> members, get ready for your headshots, and we're going to put a request to get a page on the um, website. Yeah. So we're going to move into some different things as a committee, so just stay posted uh, as we evolve. And it's been a, truly a privilege just being part of this team. I've had the honor of actually uh, doing nine consecutive vacation flag days. Uh, they've all been spectacular and amazing. So with that, we have our Taste of the Caribbean. And we have our exhibit inside, our student exhibit. Make sure to check that out as well. And we're going to have uh, our Kelly, a song. Give him a round of applause again.